Pisces, good morning. Welcome to your general Sun, Moon, Rising reading. My name's Clive. You're watching Emery's Tarot. Everybody's welcome. New viewers, new subscribers, passers-by. My regular viewers, regular subscribers. You're all very, very welcome. Here we go. What's going on for the sign of Pisces? Well, you're facing some challenges. I'm getting here that... There's a situation here, more or less one of convenience. It's a situation I'm getting that you are trying to get out of. You find it very, very challenging. I'm kind of getting here with the seven of wands that you have kind of finally drawn that proverbial line in the sand. You know, this is, this is the line that you're not gonna cross. You're starting to put up healthy boundaries. You're starting to defend yourself perhaps you feel you have to justify yourself to somebody but with this devil energy here this Capricorn energy it's mm, it's it's just a red flag that about repeating past cycles and approaching relationships and life in exactly the same way I'm getting here that there is the very strong energy around you of change Okay, some of this change is not welcome. Get in here, somebody is trying to convince you of something. You're not so sure. Okay. I'm getting you're trying to keep somebody at arm's length here. At least until you make a concrete decisions there's lots of inhibitions here now perhaps you are the person you're dealing with is in a situation of convenience okay and it's very very difficult to get out of but you know the devil to me is like the dark side of the lovers it's it's a tethered situation which is not as has a literally a dark side to it all right i'm kind of getting that you are withholding information about your plans okay because to me the devil energy also represents you know somebody wearing a mask because there's a bit of pretense there for whatever reason i'm not judging you and the universe isn't it's just that uh, i'm kind of getting here that you are tethered to a situation it, it's like you're you're not revealing your true intentions because you're trying to avoid conflict, okay? You could be dealing with somebody who has addictive tendency, a bit of obsession here. It's, it's a very challenging situation. The underlying, <laughs> yeah, the lovers, yeah. The, the, the devil is kind of the dark side of the lovers, you know. It's kind of like a revelation. The pretense is... being brought out into the open I'm kind of getting here for a long time you've been uh, avoiding responsibility but now you've you've done a lot of growing up you've done a not to mean you were a child in the past but I'm talking spiritually you're you you're willing to take responsibility for yourself and you're now ready to well not literally fight for what you want but you metaphorically you're willing to go for it Okay, perhaps there's been a few money worries here. Okay, you could be in a situation that you want to get out of, but money's the problem. But I'm getting here with time and patience and a bit of planning. All right, being reserved. I'm not seeing anything here that you can't get yourself out of. Unfortunately, we live in a world of very fast moving energy, and we humans by nature we kind of want it now i want it now why can't i have it now the universe doesn't work like that you have to earn your position in life and with all that learning becomes experience and hopefully makes us better people i'm also getting this rather clingy energy around you okay Some of you are in a kind of a pretty precarious situation. All right, there's there's a situation here that 
did have forward momentum, but it's like the the momentum's stopped. I'm getting here, there's a lack of cooperation. Mm. I'm also picking here, getting here a third party influence. Now, whether that third party influence is work, a parent, different beliefs. Phew. You know, third party energies come in in tarot in many, many different forms. Not necessarily another person, it could be just another situation. But there's a very, very imbalanced relationship going on here with you. You are making decisions. Two of Cups. What I'm getting here is somebody who... There was a non-committal energy in the past. There was a the relationship developed... It only went so far and then it kind of slowed down or stumped. All right. Because now I'm getting a stagnant energy around you. And this this is reliant on a decision. I'm going to get you are becoming in the sense of the right frame of mind. You're getting courage. You're getting strength. You're becoming self-aware. All right. But there is an emotional decision here. You know, the heart wants what it wants. You, you've been putting up with the situation, perhaps even accepting second best. Now you're becoming self-aware. And what I'm getting is you are making choices now for your future. And I'm kind of getting a future relationship will be built on trust. All right. And will be taken much more slowly. Mm, interesting. Kind of like creative resolutions. Wow. What else do we have? Making choices with the heart. Yeah. New love, becoming self aware. You've got the Empress here, you've got the King of Pentacles. I'm getting here for some of you money worries, especially with regards to a property. Okay. There's a person you're dealing with, they, they're they quite willing to work. They're very hard working. They're perhaps money orientated, but they, they're very supportive, supportive in a lot of ways. Okay, but there's complacency. Hmm. I'm getting here, getting back control. What else do we have? Some of the cups, choices. Some of the swords. Mm. Let's just get rid of that. Sorry, just blip on the screen. Just wanted to get rid of it. Yeah, making choices. I'm getting a more temperate energy around you. You want to leave a situation as peacefully as possible. There's trust issues to overcome. Um, to summarise this reading, what I'm getting is you want to re you want to build a good life with somebody. They're kind of, or both of you could be in a situation that you don't really want to be in. So it's kind of grabbing time together with, well you can. But what I'm also getting here is that there's a stagnant energy between you, and it's in your relative positions renouncing 
things that are and situations that are holding you back from being together but then there's the question of the practicalities you know the logistics of the thing that's all got to be discussed and it's all a question of okay it's nice wanting to be with somebody but you know life kind of gets in the way with money houses property work the kids if there's kids involved and what i'm getting here is that this is all got to be brought into the kind of equation you know love is one thing but unfortunately we live in a world that's very materialistic and that has to be addressed whether we like it or not but what i am getting here is avoiding confrontation at all costs now if you're dealing with just a one-to-one -one person you know there's no marriage or anybody else involved there's been some confrontation in the past and I'm kind of getting this this second time around okay somebody wants to put it right where well, you both want to put it right in some ways uh, but the level won't, won't be the same the person that you're dealing with certainly wants to avoid confrontation it's just this stagnant energy who will make the first move I'm going to leave it there thank you very much for watching